to On This Day in Tudor History with me, Claire Ridgway. Now, today I'm taking you back to the reign of King Henry VIII. But on this day in Tudor history, the 11th of October, 1532, at just before dawn, King Henry VIII and his sweetheart, Anne Boleyn, the newly created Marquess of Pembroke, set sail from Dover on the Kent coast aboard the king's ship, the Swallow. They were headed for Calais, which was an English territory at the time. The purpose of their trip was to meet with King Francis I of France and to gain his support for their relationship and their quest for the annulment of Henry VIII's marriage to Catherine of Aragon. The couple landed at Calais at 10 o'clock the same morning. Winkin de Word recorded the visit in his contemporary pamphlet, The Manor of the Triumph of Calais and Boulogne writing that the couple were received with procession and with the mayor and the Lord Deputy and all the spears, that's knights, and the soldiers in array with a great peal of guns. Chronicler Edward Hall writes that Henry and Anne then went to hear mass at the Church of St Nicholas before retiring to their lodgings at the Exchequer. The couple stayed together there until the 21st of October, when Henry left Anne to meet Francis I and spend time with him at the French court in Boulogne. After a few days with the French king, Henry brought Francis back to Calais to meet Anne, who made a dramatic entrance at a lavish mask held by the king in Francis's honour on the 27th of October. The trip was a success. Francis I was sympathetic to Henry and Anne's plight, and offered to give Henry French protection against Charles V, the Holy Roman Emperor, and Catherine of Aragon's nephew. Francis was also displeased with the way the Pope was handling the situation. In a letter to the Bishop of Auxerre with instructions for him to talk to the Pope, Francis wrote, Everyone knows that it has not been usual to compel kings to come to Rome. Both the kings desire to inform the Pope more fully of their causes of complaint that he may remedy them for the future. Henry VIII and Francis I made their farewells on the 29th of October, 1532, and Henry and Anne intended to leave for England immediately. However, storms and then fog delayed their departure, and the couple didn't land at Dover until early on the 14th of November, 1532, St. Erkemald's Day. Edward Hall writes of how Henry and Anne married privily on that day, keeping it a secret even when they arrived back in London on the 24th of November. On their return to London, the couple began cohabiting and it wasn't long before Anne was pregnant. The couple had another secret ceremony at Whitehall on St Paul's Day, the 25th of January, 1533. And their first child, a daughter, the future Elizabeth I, was born on the 7th of September, 1533. I'll share links to my other videos on Henry and Anne's visit to Calais, including one on Anne's dramatic entrance at the mask and the lovely gifts she received from Francis I, and also a video on their secret wedding. And you'll find links to those videos in the description. Also on this day in Tudor history, the 11th of October, 1537, there was a solemn procession and prayers said for Jane Seymour, Henry VIII's third wife, who was in labour with her first and only child, Edward. In last year's video, I shared contemporary accounts of the procession and Jane's labour. You'll find a link to that in the description too. Thank you for joining me. You can subscribe to this channel by clicking round about there. You can hit the bell to be notified as these videos go live and you can give me a like and leave me a comment. See you tomorrow. Bye bye.